Good morning Philippines! Good afternoon Philippines! Sabi nga natin eh, pag mga entrepreneurs, we always greet each other. Good morning, good morning! And this is Butch Bartolome in just a minute with the Guru. Today is the 20th of, uh, no, 18, 18 of January. No, Medyo advanced na tayo, no? sa so dami ng mga iniisip. But anyway, today is a very exciting day. You know why? Because I... We have an entrepreneur who came from the corporate world. Nako, alam mo, pag naging corporate world ka, uh, is it easy to jump? Is it easy to become an entrepreneur? But again, this person has managed to, you know, to cross the bridge. Ika nga, no? And uh, he will tell us how he did it, why he did it, why he became an entrepreneur. And he has a passion to help others, no? So, uh, without further ado, let's call on Mr. Jeff Chua, of Cycle House Philippines. Jeff, good afternoon to you and to your staff of Cycle House Philippines. Nakamute pa ata yung ano niya. <laughs> yes, good afternoon. Yeah. Yes, good afternoon, Jeff. Yes. Good afternoon, Sir Boots. Yes, and uh, I'm so privileged Thank you for to, having us. To, to have you here on Just a Minute kasi you know, a lot of people are asking, um, how can somebody become an entrepreneur if you're from a corporate world? Okay, so tell us, Jeff, um, a short background of how Jeff uh, was as, an, as a corporate person. Alam ko marami tayong nanonood. But you know, I'm so happy, Jeff, huh? because just the preview pa lang, we had about to almost 300 viewers. And uh, right now, we're having viewers as far as Dubai, Monaco. And we're having somebody from London. Oh my God, you know, I hope to see Cycle House, not just Philippines, uh, Cycle House USA, Cycle House Dubai. Okay, mm -hmm. so tell us more. I mean, how did you ever <laughs> become, uh, what, what, what were you when you were a corporate person? Uh -oh. uh, yeah, thank you for having me again, Sir Boots, and uh, share some of my experiences here. It's very humbling to be interviewed by the guru himself, no? Anyway, uh, when I was in corporate, the usual naman, sir, eh, di ba? Uh, when I graduated, uh, I came from a Chinese, Filipino Chinese family, but I have to do my own thing. Eh. Kailangan ka magtrabaho talaga, di ba? So, pag graduate ko, nag-apply ako for sales. Kasi nakita ko sa sales, may mga kotse. Kasi may pumunta sa college namin noon, naka-necktie, tapos sabi niya, o, oh, eto. May kotse pa ako sa corporate. So, somehow, eh, wala naman akong pera. Uh, hindi ko naman nakikita pa yung sarili ko mag-business during that time. Nag-apply uh, ako sa isang milk company. So, it start, that's where I started my uh, uh, career. I came from sales. Tapos, after ng sales, uh, nagkaroon ako ng stint sa systems. Naging sales supervisor. Nag-marketing, tas nag-training manager ako doon. For 12 years ako doon, sir, yung sa, uh, uh, isa sa mga pinakamalaking milk manufacturer sa buong mundo. So, yung working experience na yun, ang dami kong natutunan doon, sir, Boots. Uh, yung hirap, yung pagtsatsaga sa trabaho, yung sistema. ko yung advancement in terms of training and development kasi I was handling training na noon. Uh, very advanced in terms of organizational development, ano yung mga HR processes. So, yun yung mga tinuro naman. Tapos after noon, sir, in-invite po ako, nagkaroon po ako ng privilege na ma-invite nung uh, may-ari ng, yung isa sa anak ng may-ari ng pinakamalaking mall. So, ginawa nila akong corporate training head. So, doon naman, ang natutunan ko is retail. Uh, natutunan ko yung merchandising, natutunan ko ng mas malalim yung customer service in terms of yung retail environment naman. So yun po yung mga experiences ko kaya uh, I'm thankful sa Diyos na nalagay ako sa mga sitwasyon na kung saan marami talagang natutunan. So parang uh, lumalabas nito Jeff eh, you became a well-rounded person because of corporate experience, di ba? Opo, sir. And uh, tama po yung na-observe na mo. And it was also intentional for me. Kasi during that time, Sir Boots, uh, curious talaga ako about business. And nasa isip ko na talaga, ang strategy ko dito 
kailangan marami akong alam. So, every now and then, uh, pag mayroong opening, mayroong uh, pwedeng lateral movement lang sa career, kinukuha ko talaga, sir. Kailangan one to two to three years dapat may something new ako na natutunan na posisyon. And during that time nga, Sir Boots, nakakatawa kasi ang tingin sa akin ng mga HR, sana hindi sila nanonood, pero <laughs> sabi nila sa akin nun, Jeff, not well for me. Kasi I know something about uh, finance, I know something about uh, accounting, I know something about marketing, supply chain, kasi medyo na-expose din talaga ako sa mga uh, different departments. Pero, pero Jeff, uh, well, I appreciate no yung movement mo, lateral and all this, uh, gaining experience. But uh, what, what, were, were there, was there something behind, uh, ahead of you? Were you looking for something like uh, someday after so many years I'll become an entrepreneur? Was that your aim or was you were just there para matuto ng matuto at you know, gain more experience? All right. Alam mo, Sir Butch, thank you. Ah. That's a good question. At the age of 25, 26, uh, actually, nag-start na ako talaga mag-formal business. Kasi talagang, minsan meron talaga yung urging eh, na you want to do your own thing. So, uh, totoo po yun. Uh, around, at the, uh, the age of around 25, 26, gusto ko na mag-business. Kaya nag-business kami uh, kasama ng mga classmate ko from Masteral School. Uh, we set up, uh, yun yung maraming hindi al- nakakaalam nung kwento ko na yun. At the round of 26, I, we set up a small restaurant in Marikina. <laughs> oh, okay. And um, oh. <laughs> so, ngayon, okay, let's go to the decision process. Alam mo, ako, go- galing din ako sa corporate world. Uh, medyo nagkaroon ako ng mga nightmares, you know, yung mga making a decision to be on your own, lalo na pag may optional retirement. <laughs> Um, ikaw ba, did you undergo such process of uh, process of elimination, kumbaga process of discernment, uh, lalong-lalo na yung pagdadasal, no? Paano, pa, uh, paano ginawa mo, uh, Jeff, when you made the decision na this is it, I want to become an entrepreneur? Uh, Sir Boots, yung transformation ko uh, from uh, corporate to entrepreneur, I think it was very tough for me and my family. Uh, kay wife, di ba? Kasi, uh, just to give you a quick background, uh, I think I was really blessed in terms of my corporate experience. Kasi at the age of around, I think I was around 35, I was an assistant vice president na. So, I was doing okay eh. Pag ganun kasi, mas mahirap bumitaw. Uh, mas mahirap bumitaw sa career. But then again, darating ka sa point kung talaga yung calling mo entrepreneur uh, yung happiness mo tas meron kang hinahanap maski na malaki yung pera na binibigay ng career mas comfort uh, i mean mas comfortable mas stable pero kung nasa puso mo talaga kada araw dinadrag mo yung paa mo papuntang work meron i think god is really calling you to do something so literally uh, Sir Boots, uh, during my stint sa biggest mall in the country, I was jogging. Ito, totoong kwento po to, Sir Boots. I was praying kasi feeling ko talagang ano eh, may emptiness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pero we were, I was earning. Ang ganda ng grocery benefits noon. More than 50,000 grocery benefits pa lang. Uh, so maganda yung salary. Walang problema. Pero may missing eh. May kulang. And sa akin, Sir Boots, we only have uh, a short life to live. Di ba? At the age of around 70, 75, parang ayaw ko rin masayang yung buhay ko. Okay. So, I, I had this night, may isang gabi, I was jogging, I was praying, really deep in prayer. Uh, kasi parang, God, ano, sa, parang may emptiness. Uh, saan mo ko gusto pumunta? So, parang medyo may konting drama pa ako ng Sir Boots, eh. Mm-hmm. I was raising my hands ng ganyan habang nag-jogging eh. <laughs> <laughs> so, ayun, Lord, ano ba yung gusto mong gawin ko? Ganyan. Tapos parang sometimes when you open yourself up talaga, uh, you surrender. You have that, ano eh, yung parang eureka moment na dun ko na-realize na talagang, wow, God was really calling me to do business. No? Kaya siguro hindi na ako masaya. Mm-hmm. So I immediately went to the house. Ito yung kwento nun eh. Uh, I immediately went to the house. Excited ako. Sabi ko, Mami, 
magbibisnis mukhang talagang God is calling me to have a business. So ayun. So syempre na na-shock si Mrs. <laughs> Paano babayaran niyo sa bahay? Paano babayaran sa kotse? It's a natural reaction. I understand her. Kasi my fear, we have three kids and yung youngest child namin, six months pa lang. So may uncertainty. Meron yung, yung alam mo yun, yung comfort level, mawawala. Mm-hmm. So ang dami, paano yung financial? So medyo nagtampo ko nun, sir eh. Parang, ay, ba't ganun? Oh. <laughs> but you know, ako but bahay, you know, this, this is... Uh, uh, This is something that's, uh, well, I would say common, no? Because uh, uh, especially if you have a family, they always say, what happens? What if, you know? I mean, is there a guarantee of success? Um, and, and, and I've known people, no? Who have reached as far as a, a very, very high status. Uh, so much benefits, you know? I mean, kumbaga, expatriate uh, uh, status. And all of a sudden decide. No, not many people will understand. No, I mean, at, at, I'm sure. I won't go to the mga kaibigan mo, kapatid mo, kung naintindihan ka, no, uh, or your parents, no. But I think it's more of the inner, no, yung bang the inner satisfaction, that that peace of mind, and also the happiness. Because lahat mo ng bagay, pag hindi ka na happy, you know, you're just dragging your feet. Tama ka yun. Sino sabi mo niyo, no? So, okay, so let's now go to the next portion of Mr. Jeff Chua as an entrepreneur. Okay, paano ka ngayon nag-negosyo, sir? Alright, so at the age of around, yun nga, at the young age, sir, boots 25, 26, talagang gusto kong mag-business eh. Uh, and then, uh, so nag-fail yung restaurant business. Uh, ang hirap kasi, of course, uh, we have I have partners back then. So sa ko I need a fallback plan. Uh, sa corporate sa corporate kasi we all know how things are in corporate, di ba? May makabangga ka lang sa taas. Ah, uh, hindi mo masabi, uh, biglang may retrenchment. You need we need a fallback. Kaya noon time na yun, after the restaurant business that fail after uh, one to two years, naisipan ko yung motorcycle business. So, yun yung una kong nakita. Why? Kasi more than 60% of registered vehicles are motorcycle. Mm-hmm. So, there's an opportunity. Tapos sabi ko, walang, walang professionalized na services. Ha. Wala yung maayos na itsurang store. So, doon nag-start yun. Uh, nakita talaga natin na may opportunity. And part-time, nag-work ako habang nag-work, minamanage na yung business. So, so, do not start, sir. Oh, so parang nagkaroon ka ng transition. It was not an immediate thing na you started a business or you quit your not business or your job and you started a business. So, para bang merong transition, no? Uh, oh, by the way, I'd like to congratulate uh, 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 greet uh, your dad, uh, si Mr. William Chua for joining us. Thank you for uh, you really <laughs> produce a wonderful smart entrepreneur kid, you know, the, the name of Jeff. Uh, si Councilor, oh, si Councilor po Reyes. Thank you po. Ito po suki-suki natin sa at isa ring uh, woman empowered entrepreneur na ating in- in-interview natin. So, you you saw the need, no? Going back, uh, you saw the need ng um, ng uh, motorcycle. Okay, so did you ever learn the trade? Yeah, of course. Uh, during that time, syempre, uh, in-start mo yan, when learning, ang hirap. Ang daming gastos nangyari, di ba? Trial and error. Uh, I have to learn the trade. It, it took time. Ano yung mga tamang merchandise? Ano yung mga on ways how to manage a small business? So it took me five years to manage yung motorcycle and bike. Uh, kasi eventually, Sir Boots, yung maliit na bike shop ng mother ko, binili ko, kinumbine ko. Kasi that was the vision, uh, motorcycle and bike. So, uh, it took me five years developing the system, developing how it can be run. Matandaan ko yung software, ang laki ng ginasos namin. <laughs> Just to find out kung ano yung tamang system. Tsaka how, how the manpower should revolve. Lahat yun inalam natin in a professionalized setting. So after five years, dun lang kami na, nung natutunan ko na lahat ng trade, dun lang yung uh, pina-franchise. Pero bago nun, Sir Boots, inekwento ko to sa'yo, di ba? 
uh, actually before we started Cycle House, I was already attending your seminars. <laughs> I was already buying your books because that was really part of the strategy. Na sabi ko, magyara pa ko ng concept. Tapos ano ba tong franchising during that time in the early nine uh, late 90s. Hindi ko hindi ko pa alam 'yan eh. So I was attending yung sa seminar mo in uh, uh, sa isang uh, restaurant in Makati, 'di ba? Matagal kaya ata nag-lecture doon. Yes, so yes. kami ni wife umattend doon. So it was really part of the plan na pag ready na yung business, ipapa-franchise. Correct. But uh, you know one thing I noticed, uh, you were able to identify ahead of time in your probably in your experience, in your forecasting, uh, the, the need for motorcycles and Tama yun, no? Yung, you, you, you ask the question, how come there are no professional uh, motorcycle shops or bicycle shops? No? Kung baga, there are a lot of mom and pop. No? I mean, para mga grocery store, sorry, sorry store, Correct. there are no professional. But you're able to inject that, I think, from your corporate background, why is there no professional system? No? Uh, which is really a, a trait of an entrepreneur. You know? Para sinasabi natin, you look for a niche no and uh, where is now cycle house uh, how big is cycle house now uh, currently now uh, we have more than 50 branches nationwide and uh, we're so happy right now uh, at the start of the year ngayon, uh, we're expanding more stores pa we are looking at uh, Isabela may mga nag sign up pa tayo in Bulacan and uh, the other branches. But what I'm really happy about, Sir Boots, kasi is uh, uh, I think yung success rate ngayon ng franchises namin are increasing and increasing. Kasi that was really the focus last year na kailangan yung franchises natin maging successful. Uh, yun talaga yung, to tell you frankly, we somehow compromised pa nga yung focus in opening new stores last year. Yes, yes. Kasi gusto namin, ano ba nangyayari Doon sa current stores? How can we support them better? How can we uh, how can we train them better? Kasi Sir Boots, uh, nakita ko talaga yung sa entrepreneurship, it's very important to have uh, conceptual knowledge, yung may idea ko on how to do it. Yes. Tsaka syempre, from there, yung skills, uh, aralin mo na. Kaya maganda yung pinoint out mo kay Sir R.D. Roberto. Kasi Sir Boots, I don't think I would have spot uh, mo the motorcycle business kung hindi ako umaaten ng seminar at nagbabasa ng libro ng tatay ni Sir R.D., si si Dr. Ned Roberto. Correct. So sa marketing kasi, sila po yung mga binabasa kong libro noon by that, yung, during that time. Aral lang ako na aral kasi I want to develop myself. Sir R.D., Sir Josiah. Tapos sa uh, franchising, yung mga books nyo naman ang talagang... Puro underline, circle, kung paano yung gagawin. <laughs> Ito mo yung libro mo. Mukhang business. libro ko eh. Parang uh, tad-tad ng underline at highlight eh. <laughs> yeah, opo, but opo, that, opo. That, that, tama yung point mo, no? Na being an entrepreneur, you have to have a set foundation, horizontal foundation before you go vertical, no? Uh, kasi if you don't go for that, eh, just, just because meron kang concept, franchise mo na. Eh, teka, parang meron tayong moral obligation ata sa mga franchisee natin, no? And then what you pointed out is you made a compromise, no? Yung bang, what you wanted is, do I open my own stores or do I let my franchisees open, no? Because you're creating, ang parati kong sinasabi, my, bi my tag battle cry is synergy, no? Uh, synergistic relationship. Uh, kasi nga, marami yan nagsasabi, but it's so franchise, franchise, you know? But you're not supporting, no? Kaya, uh, ilang araw na itong uh, sunod sunod kung nakakausap na after signing the agreement they never saw any the franchise or or any shadow of the franchise representative which I I really think that's a bad way of expanding a business. So yung isang trait na nakita ko sa you, uh, Jeff is I think I really admire you because you took the time to study because some people para bang nakita ko ay tamad na ako matanda na ako but pa ako magbabasa ng libro. Uh, Alam ko na yan, you know, yung you know all, <laughs> you know it all. <laughs> so, but how do you now keep up with your franchisees, uh, Jeff? 
Uh, right now ngayon, uh, we're, we're doing a lot of systems kasi kailangan talaga may structured SOP, Standard Operating Procedure. For example, how often uh, I have dedicated team to do that. Yun muna yung first eh. Uh, you really have to assign a, a, a group of people who will be equipped uh, to do business support. And then business support, anong areas ba ng business ang dapat titingnan nila? And then, uh, naka-timeline yan. Every week may touch base, may monthly, uh, may monthly, may mga monthly coaching, may mga mid-year assessment. Tsaka ngayon, ginawa na namin, finormalize na namin. Meron din uh, reward system. Wherein, at the end of the year, if you if you execute the yung mga programs, mga plans nung uh, nung store, you will be rewarded. So it it's, it, it takes a lot of planning and scheduling, tsaka it takes a lot of resources putting in doon sa mga programs kasi talagang kailangan uh, the, the franchise success is our success. Though of course, uh, Sir Boots, alam mo naman yung reality, we, we can only do so much tayo mga franchisors. Uh, we will do uh, we will provide the knowledge, we will uh, provide the systems, but at the end of the day kasi, uh, we need to push the accountability rin na the franchises has to run their stores uh, and excellent the programs correctly, judiciously, tsaka with a lot of commitment. But you know, that's tama yan, Jeff, huh? because a lot of, uh, in my book, if you notice that, uh, it's franchising for you, I, okay, the okay. myth that a lot of people thought that pag ikaw ay nag-franchise, automatic mm -hmm. success, which I, I, I completely disagreed because the franchisor can give the system, the guideline, but the 80% actually is the, the ability of the franchisee to be committed, to be hands-on, and, and really to think like a franchisor too, no? Di ba? Kasi kung aasa lang sila sa'yo, di ba? Tagatugigaraw yung franchisee mo, eh, parating tatawag sa'yo, Sir Jeff, papano ho ito? Sir Jeff, wala akong customer. Eh, teka, hmm. eh, bakit ka pa kumuha? Hmm. Kaya nga, uh, yung process of franchisors, screening franchises, importante yan, no? Don't you, don't you agree? Apo, apo. Agree, agree, sir. Oo. Kasi, yung... Uh, hindi, hindi uh, ka... Go ahead. Yeah, opo. Uh, very critical talaga uh, ma-identify ma yung role nila kung about doon sa buong system. Though, Sir Boots, I think uh, if uh, I think everybody would agree that through franchising, kasi kung compare mo talaga yung tao, wala, uh, wala talagang experience and no idea about business. If they go through franchising, the increase in chances will really be exponential. Uh, I think hindi niya ginagarantee yung franchising na 100% success but yung increase in chances will really be exponential. Why? Kasi mer hindi na siya mag-undergo ng trial and error eh. Yung sa trial and error kasi, Sir Boots, di ba? Ang daming costing, ang daming disappointment. Oh. Uh, dito sa franchising pa rin, somehow ah, lalo na kami were very particular sa training and con continuous training, mm -hmm. somehow dapat aware sila. So, yun yung advantages talaga ng franchising. And most especially right now, I just want to answer Boots. I, what I noticed now, it was different noong 5 to 10 years ago when you start your own business. Ngayon, mas tougher, mm -hmm. mas complex ang market, yeah. mas more technical ang business. So, meaning, hindi ka na pwedeng basta-basta mag-open without really having the right knowledge. You're not equipped with the knowledge skills on how to do. So yun yung na-observe ko, nag-iba na po yung business kasi pati yung mother ko and father ko can observe that, nag-iba yung negosyo. Alam mo, I agree with that. Um, ngayon, very competitive. Uh, yung bang sabi ko nga, the age, you know, you have to be innovative, you have to create, you have to, Correct. Baga, sabi nga natin, you have to destroy and you recreate and you synergize and you expand. Hindi ka gano'ng araw, no? tama yung 5 to 10 years ago, your, your parents can attest no, na nagtayo ka ng tindahan, naglagay ka ng bicycle store, sige lang, ang customers mo pa, daloy-daloy lang, you know, word of mouth. Pero ngayon, grabe, hmm. competitive, tama you know, po. you have the tama social po. media. Um, grabe ang social media, yes. the technology now, um, it can destroy or it can be an additional factor for you, di ba? Opo, and uh, kasi po, alam naman natin, Sir Boots, with the internet age, 
yung infor yung power ng customers ay tumaas dahil yung information ay naging in, in arms length na lang eh kaya na nila ma-access yung information kaya i think talagang nag-shift yung power sa kanila so meaning yung entrepreneurs must have a different way of attracting this customer hindi na pwedeng price lang hindi na pwedeng ito lang ginagawa mo kailangan it's the total package uh, solution to convince them And this is, I think, one reason, Jeff, na sinasabi ko parate, no? Uh, not that I'm biased for franchising, but objectively, I always tell people like retirees, uh, housewives, OFE, or, or overseas Filipino entrepreneurs. Uh, oh, by the way, si Miss Malu, uh, pra Malu or Prado from Dubai is watching. <laughs> She runs a very successful MPQ travel Hello, agency Malik. there. Um, but you know, yun yung very important, eh. If you are to start a business now, kunyari, Jeff, ikaw, nag-retire ka ngayon, You have 500,000 pesos. Mm -hmm. uh, people think that, wow, yaman ko na, no? But this is your last money. And the, the, the fact that you have to make a decision to make it go on the left of getting a franchise or starting a uh, business, that's very critical, no? Yung crossroad. Di ba? Para bang mahirap ata ngayon okay, gumawa okay. ng decision, no? Kung baga, anong gagawin ko sa pera na 500,000? Uh, papalaguin passive income or franchise no so maraming mga decision na ang mga mga tao are faced with i'm sure you're faced with a lot of that no yung mga nag-apply ng franchise sa iyo opo 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 sir boots yung sa akin kasi uh, dapat talaga uh, you must uh, be knowledgeable on how to also manage the funds kasi sir boots there's a lot of ways now kung paano i-manage yung funds You can bargain with a supplier. Uh, you can always. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's okay na magloan. It's okay to borrow money. It's okay to partner. Kaya very important talaga. Marami kang uh, alam kung sa ang kapweding uh, makal makakuwa ng fund. So in terms of from a funding standpoint, uh, yung next na pwede mong asarbut sa akin kasi another point na gusto pino point out to sa mga franchisee. Uh, yung mga nag apply siya sabi ko, why are you here? It means you want to do something with your life. It means uh, gusto mo, meron kang uh, reason to wake up in the morning. ba diba? So yun yung nabibigay kasi ng business eh, na hindi nabibigay ng mutual fund, hindi nabibigay ng mga ibang investment tool. These are okay. These are okay. Pero sa akin, yung business kasi, it really drives you eh. It drives you to wake up in the morning. It brings you joy. Na sa you can close some sale, de ba? Yeah. And it brings you a purpose, no? Na having employees, seeing your employees grow. I think yun yung minsan na uh, I want to highlight dun sa mga listeners mo na do business minsan na papakita na nakakatakot, uh, ang hirap. Sa akin there's a lot more positive things about business. You learn a lot. You, yung faith mo kay God mas tumataas. <laughs> Totoo yan. Tsaka talaga naman mas fulfilling. Tingin ko yung benefit compared to the risk, it was, it's really outweighed. Talagang mas malaki yung benefit. But you know, um, tama yung sabi mo kanina. Let me just, uh, it hit me what you said. No? Entrepreneurship is a calling. Eh. Uh, it's not for everybody. No? It's uh, something na... Uh, If you can Opo. give to others, you can help others, you can inspire others. Uh, para bang there's a blessing that is given to you. Kung baga, you're giving back to the community what you have earned, di ba? Um, and that's something, no? And that's something like what we call corporate social responsibility, CSR, no? Na hindi mo naman kailangan magmalaki, hindi mo kailangan magpa-picture-picture. <laughs> But you know, you're doing something in your own right way. So, uh, Jeff, uh, you are, you know, yung... Um, How do you do now with your branding? Kasi para bang, uh, you know, mm. franchising or being an entrepreneur does not stop. Kahapon kasi, we invited Miss Delby Bergais, uh, who is a fashion designer, one of the top image consultants. And she was talking wow. about impression management. Now, sa iyo ba, um, papano ang ginagawa ngayon ni Mr. Jeff? Ilang taon na ba ang ano? Ilang taon ang Cycle House? How many years na? Sir, uh, we're now turning on our ninth year of blessing kay God. Nine years sa po ang cycle house. This coming wow. year, this coming year. Nine September. years. So, uh, 
after sabi nga natin di ba sa negosyo first five years are the most uh, kumbaga roller coaster ride <laughs> di ba so uh, you're, you're you're a graduate now so what are you doing now with the image of cycle house yeah Pra, before ko ikwento, sir, yung image, i-acknowledge ko lang yung team ko na who helped me prepare this t-shirt. Ayan. Yes, yes. Ito <laughs> si Carol. Pakita lang natin. Ayan, Pwede nga makita si sila. Yay! How are Ayan. you? Yeah. <laughs> Tapos, andito rin yung from marketing team and merchandising. Ayan. Teka, mabilis. Si Maynard, focus, si mo nga, focus mo nga yung mga ah, beauties pala. ng angel Ayan. ng uh, oh, Cycle House. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ayan. Oh, may nagti-text na dito, yung available daw ba, complicated or single, you know, ayan, o, la, mukhang may mga beauty <laughs> sa oh, cycle available house. Available pa rin, available. <laughs> so, ayan po, sila po yung tumulong, uh, tumutulong sa cycle house to build its brand. I think very important kasi people behind. Pakita nga, medyo, medyo hindi ka anyway, makita. Ayan, 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 ang gusto ko makita. Okay. Ayan, 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 ayan. Uh, ayan, smile kayo mga yung kapatid. Yung t-shirt nyo, yung yeah. t-shirt nyo. Mukhang maganda yung t-shirt na yan eh. No? Mukhang, uh, yung mukhang, t-shirt, uh, customer first. Ayan, pakita. <laughs> Alright, wow. O tell me, right. pa- pa- paano kayo nag-evolve sa ganyan? Uh, ayan, maganda yun. Alam mo, believe ako sa, sa group mo because they are making suggestion. They're not just yes, yes, yes. Kung ano sinabi ni boss, okay lang. But you are making, they are making suggestion. Kumbaga, that's a real teamwork, no? Okay, so how did you evolve with that uh, oh, oh, oh. sign now, with that uh, branding? Yeah, uh, kasi uh, Sir Boots, throughout the years and uh, most importantly for the last three years, when we we have opened Cycle House nationwide, di ba? Uh, we have already a target market in mind. Sino ba yung customer natin talaga? Kasi maraming customer eh, may kaya, ito yung medyo kapos ang budget, ano yung gusto sa bike, ano yung gusto sa motor. So we have already established that, but we believe uh, pwede pang ma-improve yung relevance ng brand dito sa target market na yan. Kaya ngayon, uh, ngayon taon, and we are so privileged and honored to really announce it here. Uh, in your uh, in, with the interview with the guru, that Cycle House will now carry this slogan. Itong slogan na yung positioning namin na ang Cycle House, the number one, ang number one motorcycle and bike shop ng bayan. So, ibig sabihin, Sir Boots, from dating branding namin na formal, conservative, medyo detached, medyo safe at product focused, 2019 and onwards, it will be more exciting kasi mas maraming emotional touch and bond with the customers. Mas family na yung dating talaga ng Cycle House. And uh, kung mapakita nung tech natin dyan, yung mga pictures ng mga kid, uh, yung mga batang buibili ng bike, yung uh, sense of community, fun and energy, celebration of life, yun na yung magiging branding ng Cycle House. It's really more of yung community base. The mo, neighborhood I like motorcycle the co- I, and bike I like the color, Jeff. Uh, mas alive. There's yellow. There's array of... Okay. Diba, pag yellow is sunshine. It's like hope. Diba? It's okay. energy. Okay. Okay. Uh, you have the... Energy. Like you have the, the logo of the wheel. Uh, you have the, the okay. red. You know? Ang ganda ng combination mo. My gosh. Para bang, parang ano yan eh. Parang ad agency ata yan. Ah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yes po. Sana nga po uh, mas ma-embed pa sa target market namin. Uh, pero tingin namin uh, mukhang positive kasi talaga yung gusto namin matap sir boots yung ano eh, yung bang market na medyo kapo sa budget pero gusto ng quality bike. Tapos pag pumunta sila sa Cycle House, they will be treated like a family. Yung may sense of uh, community talaga. Ma- masaya, talagang personal touch talaga. Kasi we're training all of the staffs in customer service. Yung isa pa doon, Jeff, nakita ko, uh, maganda yung ginawa yung tagline. Okay? You are not just saying mm-hmm. um, uh, motorcycle, bike, par- parcel. You know, ano ba ano tawag nung? Very, very traditional eh, yung nasa uh, dati, yung luma, no? So, yung correct. ginawa nyo ngayon, meron kayong tagline, opo, 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 opo. no? Which I think um, opo, opo. addresses a concern eh. Al- alam mo, mas, kasi mahilig ako sa tagline ba? Yung bang, uh, pag ang tagline eh, like a motorcycle at bike, 
shop ng bayan para bang wow okay ba talaga ito kasi bayan means you know the whole the whole population no uh, your neighborhood yeah pwede yan no uh, probably when cycle house goes to the US you can use the number two option no your neighborhood motorcycle and bike shop siguro naman baka magkaroon ng yeah, Harley why bike not? shop why na not? ito no ha so uh, hindi ako magtataka ha <laughs> yeah so, it's not pa- it's oh, not po, imp- po, po. parang sabi ko it's not impossible it's always possible <laughs> you know so um correct, oh, correct. pero maganda yung sinabi mo no um kasi maraming mga entrepreneurs na nanonood ngayon na ang parati natin sinasabi di ba sa branding after five years or eight years you have to massage the the signage di ba yung bang konting galaw-galaw you know like like for example alam mo natin yung mga major fast food chain yung mga mga gasoline station they have changed you know so um, the reason for that is that when people keep seeing your brand daily day in day out for the next five years parabang they have taken for granted no but when you started like this uh, I'm so honored na, that you're launching it here in this program um, parabang magbagbago ang tingin ng tao na ano yan napapansin ka ulit diba so uh, I think that's something that a franchisor should remember not just na kung ano yung when they started that's how they did it and until now Opo and uh, it's a good point and talaga rin sa akin Sir Boots it's also a rally call sa mga employees and uh, our franchises together with our uh, to- together with their employees that it should really be customer first na talaga ang focus Kasi you want to be a household uh, uh, community-based uh, shop. Kailangan talaga, let's treat, let's love our customers. So it's also a rallying call. Aside from the branding elements, talagang gusto natin, uh, hindi lang siya image. Gusto natin, it will really be part of our daily living sa Cycle House. Not only in the Cycle House main, but not only in the employees of the Cycle House, but everybody who is part of Cycle House. That's the vision for the new brand. Wow, fantastic! I'm so touched. I think you were you were blessed because when you were doing that uh, that uh, rebranding, okay, um, Jeff. Yeah, of how how do how does one get in touch with you, or how does one? I'm sure there are people who are interested. I got a friend right now who is in Los Angeles, California, at us of this time. Uh, 9.45 naman ng Los Angeles watching. There is uh, John Ortiz who, who comes from uh, Solano, no? John uh, and a real estate. Baka naman yan eh, mga nagpa- gusto na rin mag-franchise ng uh, Cycle House. Uh, how does one apply for your Cycle House, Jeff? Yeah, uh, they can get through with us uh, tatlong uh, ways. They can either text this number uh zero nine one seven five one zero one three three one that's the number or para mas mabilis they can message us or like our fb page type lang nila cycle house philippines okay we also have a website do sa website nandun lahat ng nitty gritty details on the franchising it's www.cyclehouseph.com and what areas are still open, Jeff? Uh, you know, like for example, the NCR, the Central Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. What areas are you looking at expanding? All right, uh, that's a good question. Actually, alam mo, Sir Boots, uh, the last three years we were looking at Visayas, Mindanao, as a key priority. Right now, we are seeing the increase in GMA area particularly in around Las Piñas and Paranaque. Kasi we made a study uh, around December. Uh, wala pa masyadong mga magagandang bike shop dyan na uh, may professional ser- professionalized service at motorcycle shop. So, you're open to these areas as well as others, no? Na pwedeng, ano, like for example, if you go for the north, like Baguio, La Union, Ilocos, meron pa rin. Opo, opo, opo. Okay. And, Meron, and support uh, available na available po. Yeah. Support wise, uh, how often is the support given by Cycle House? 
All right. Uh, with the advent of technology nga, Sir Boots, ang maganda, there's a weekly interface yan uh, through phone line. Tapos uh, quarterly yan may coaching. Tapos we also have representatives going around the country visiting the stores uh, to really uh, give feedback kung ano yung magandang ginagawa tsaka yung mga bagay na pwede pang i-improve. So continuous po yung support and pati yung mga marketing campaigns namin tuloy-tuloy. In fact, around Feb, no, Maynard, Around Feb, idodraw na yung pinakamalaking uh, raffle in the country ng motorcycle and bike. We will be giving out a lot of bikes and helmets. So around Feb. So tuloy-tuloy yung support naman. So, so we have assigned people to do that sa mga franchises. So in other words, the franchises are happy because the franchisor is very active in terms of the support media, uh, training, you know, support. I think that's the most key element in franchising no pag wala kang support kalimutan mo na ano and uh, wala kang taong qualified kalimutan mo na rin no so uh, i think i think that's the burden okay, okay, really okay. is the franchisor uh, because you cannot let okay, okay. all some not follow your you know be compliant uh, but you all have to be you know okay, okay. moving in the same direction di ba yes most especially right now na cycle house has uh, uh, more than uh, 50,000 plus followers na rin. So, dumadaan yan. Tumataas na yung customer expectation every year. Tumataas. So, kami rin mga cycle house stores, we need to elevate our uh, customer service. We need to elevate our merchandise offering. Kasi talagang ganun po yung business. Eh. Ganun din ang buhay, sir. Eh. Talagang you need to improve, improve, improve. So, so, ganun po talaga siya. Na-notice ko ang dami niyong models ng bike. Uh, ilan ba mga more or less mga <laughs> models ng bike that you have right now? Uh, Sir Boots, nako napakarami. <laughs> uh, ito yung mga known brands din. So, ang dami pong bike eh. <laughs> Yun po yung maganda dyan. And uh, so far, for the last three years, naging stable na rin yung supply natin. That's good. So, uh, Parting words, Jeff, for people who are watching and inspired by you. I know you are also giving talks. Uh, by the way, si Jeff Wai is a motivational speaker. Tell us nga about uh, Jeff as the motivational <laughs> speaker because you are one person that I saw who can move people as well, no? <laughs> Medyo actually, kinakabalo ko motivational. Actually, sir, I, I think I consider myself as a more, uh, more of a business trainer. Uh, uh -huh. I do customer service, leadership. I think the motivating is, uh, I believe the motivation, motivating uh, belongs to the person himself. He has to motivate himself. Uh, <laughs> I'm just uh, disturbing them. I'm just uh, trying to uh, share perspective. Uh, but then again, uh, I'm doing that, Sir Boots, then. Uh, I hope to work with you then in, in the future about uh, in business trainings. Uh, I'm working with one uh, training company. I also have my own consulting company. Wow, and so, uh, doing it, uh, business customer service, leadership, yung po yung mga ginagawa natin. Maganda sa'yo kasi, you walk the talk, no? Um, you, you, have got, you got experience, <laughs> uh, you know what it feels, you know what the market or the importance of customer service, eh, no? Uh, you're not just talking away, you know, from the books, uh, anything theoretical or anything you saw in YouTube. Uh, but you're talking from the heart, no? I think that's that's something. That's the reason why she's saying you're motivational, ka, eh, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I had that privilege, sir, to apply. <laughs> so, uh, so, what what can you advise now? Okay, give, give me some uh, at least the top five which Jeff Chua can advise now people watching. Uh, you want to become an entrepreneur, or you want to stay as a uh, and end up as a retiree. Uh, or you want to start a business, uh, give me give me at least three na lang na, na you can give them as pabaon. Apo, apo. Siguro, sir, i-direct ko yung sa mga napakaraming audience na nanonood sa'yo. First, I'm quite sure may nanonood dito who's in the corporate job. The first na gusto kong advice talaga sa inyo, my friends, it's not just to get franchise or whatever it is, we can get other franchise or do your own thing, do your own business. But sa akin, there will come a time that you really have to, to have your own business. 
uh, there will come a time na kasi you, you will retire. You will retire. So you, you must have a ready fallback plan. Dapat may business ka na na fallback para nagigain ka na ng experience. Para pagka-retire mo mismo, you now have uh, uh, somehow adequate experience and skill to run a business. Kaya sa akin, yung mga very comfortable sa work life, if you're in the age of around 45, 50, malaki, maganda na yung money aspect mo eh. Maganda na yung may insurance ka na, may mutual fund ka na, mayroon ka ng stocks. Now invest on a business. Kadalasan kasi, nakikita ko, it's more of yung comfort zone and fear of the unknown. And sa akin, you will be missing a lot uh, if you don't try entrepreneurship. Kasi at the end of the day, gigising ka ng umaga, you have to do something. Eh. You must have a purpose kung hindi, you will be depressed. So yun yung advice ko sa mga corporate. Ready, have a plan na wherein you need to have a part-time business. I don't know, it's either you just invest or in partnership, just learn the trade as early as now. Then number two, yung para naman sa mga nagbibusiness ngayon na nakikinig, and uh, yung sa mga franchises din, and sa mga franchises din, you're connecting. Are you still there, Sir yes, Boots? Sir. Yeah. Hello. Tumigil. Yes. Hello. Medyo, yeah. We're here. Okay, so we'll connect, we'll connect. Okay, there you are, Jeff. Jeff, okay, continue. Go ahead, Jeff. For those who are in business, actually. Uh, in business already, do not uh, panic. Can you still hear me? Yes. Do, do not panic. There are stages in the business. The first, it really depends on the, the market. But do not panic. The first few years, you are not intended to make money. Mali po yung expectation na kita kasi kagad. Hindi po siya ganun. Kailangan mo magtanim talaga. Magtanim, be positive, be prayerful. Kasi lahat po ng stages ng business po. Wala pong business na hindi dumaan na nag invest talaga. So the first few years, kasi mahirap kung kwenta ka ng kwenta. <laughs> Kailangan talaga invest muna. Have faith na it will... Uh, prosper. Kasi nangyayari sa mga karamihan ng businessman na na-observe ko, yung expectation nagbimismatch. Nagbimismatch siya. And the reality, basahin niyo po yung entrepreneurial life cycle, talagang the first few years, it will really be about planting the seeds muna. True. From True. there, plant the seeds, get workers, get support, be more technical about the business, learn a lot about the business, Study books about, uh, yun, kay Sir Boots, and dami mga books dyan. You can read internet, then apply it rigorously, vigorously in your business. And then from there, I have no reason to think why it will not prosper. But you know, totoo yan, Jeff. Uh, this is the reason why people ask me, why, but, but how come you take, the, you still bother to have this, uh, just a minute with the guru? Uh, you know, I don't stand to earn here, but uh, <laughs> sabi ko nga, this is an advocacy where we can help people who are, watching the internet, uh, watching social media. Na at least if I can interview people like you, uh, of, of books, uh, practical people who can give practical advice, and I'm sure they can pick up something no? out of so many people who are watching or the continuous people, at least one or two na, na ano nila. No? Like for example, the OFWs, yung mga ating kababayan, yung mga ating modern heroes. No? Um, this is something that we have to inspire them because uh, they also get tired working abroad. They are separated from their okay, families. Okay. They have loneliness. Uh, but again, the idea there is you cannot work for so long eh, because you, you will reach a point na pagod na yung katawan mo eh. Kung bagay kabayo, pagod na eh. No? Uh, you have to become an entrepreneur. And I think the legacy, just like any parent like you and me, uh, we don't want our children to undergo what we did, no, but rather pass on the legacy of the business, right? Tama po. Napakagandang idea po yun. Uh, that's what we're dreaming about here in Cycle House, uh, a business what, that they can pass on to. That's what we're designing the company, the direction that we're going. Na kailangan, the branding has to be strong. Uh, our system has to be strong so that the franchises in the future can really pass it on to their children. 
That's true. So anyway, Jeff, uh, I know you're busy. I know you're cycling your business there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know I passed by your building, Anina. You were all bustling with a lot of deliveries, trucks here. Uh, ikaw pa atay ng traffic sa araneta taabi nyo kanina, you know, kasi nga may mga truck na nag-deliver, you know, kalis na pabinsya ata yan. Eh. But nevertheless, I'm so happy, Jeff, that you are you found your niche, you found your happiness. Uh, but again, those people are working in a corporate business or corporate position. Keep mm -hmm. on learning and learning just like Mr. Jeff. Uh, never refuse any promotion, lateral, horizontal, whatever, vertical. But again, learn, no? Because you never know. Like Jeff, uh, he was able to use it, no? And I think Jeff can attest to that, no? And I'm so blessed to meet you, Jeff, and your family, uh, really, and the team, you know? Bili ako sa team mo. Mamiya niyan, kukunin ko na lang yan sila, no? So, uh, para maging ating, uh, who knows, they might be uh, managing your U.S. cycle house, no? Pwede yan, no? Si pwede, Caroline, pwede, pwede mong padala na sa Amerika yan, no? Uh, siguro si Stephanie, pwede mong padala rin sa Africa, no? For Jeff, thank you very much to your parents and to your family. Uh, I will always pray for your success and really God bless Hi, you in you, all your you. endeavors. Thank you, Sir Boots. It's, it was really an honor. And we, we really here in Cycle House honor your life because without you, Cycle House will not be here. Because without your efforts in writing the book and imparting those knowledge uh, during the uh, mga early years, namin, uh, there wouldn't be uh, any Cycle House. Thank you again, sir. Okay, thank you. And bye-bye. God bless. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye na. Okay, and there you are, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we saw Jeff Chua together with his staff. Uh, and dami and daming learnings from, from, from corporate, the decision to establishing a business, to uh, undergoing challenges. But in the end, actually, he found himself. No? He, kung baga, nakita niya yung happiness niya. Para bang, uh, why drag yourself into something that you're not happy? Hindi naman pera yan, no? Uh, that's the reason why so many people who keep on dragging themselves get sick, get stressed, and, and really stress is number one killer nowadays. No, So find your happiness, look for it, but never forget to pray. Because prayer makes it happen. Sabi nga natin, push, pray until something happens. No, So again, Butch Bertolome po, nagpapasalamat po ng maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. At uh, kung kayo ay gusto nyong panoorin ang inyong ang aming past uh, uh, interview, uh, marami po kayong makikita na mga entrepreneurs din, naka, nakasalang na po yan, nakahanda, maraming excited. Sabi ko nga kahapon ho, I'm so blessed to have Miss uh, Delby who taught us about impression management. Today we have Jeff Chua. And the following day we have uh, on Monday, no we will resume Monday, we have somebody on LPG. Okay, LPG. Uh, sino pa ba yan? Marami pa. Yung Better Days. Oh, you watch. You must watch Better Days. It really makes you have a better day. No? And we'll have somebody from United Kingdom. Uh, Jimmy Wong. You know, an OFE. Started as a worker, but who is so dynamic. Ito po ay isang blessing din. Again, maraming salamat po. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a nice weekend and God bless all of us.